do you have any tools for copyright and that sort of stuff? They're like, do you mean my trademarks? I'm like, no. So what would you say has helped you the most with copywriting and explaining it to people? Because I know you have such a fantastic way of breaking things down for people to understand. Yeah, it's uh, for me, I always explain it as writing the words that help people sell stuff. Um, it's like that. It really is as simple as that because it could be social media. It can be emails. It can be websites. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one specific type of, um, you know, form. It can be a lot of different things. And that's why I think it can be a bit confusing for people because if you get into the copywriting world, there's this whole like debate between is it content or is it copy? And like, Really, nobody outside of copywriting cares about that. It, yeah. that's, that's like an internal industry debate and it needs to stay there. Um, the thing that matters is that people hire copywriters to help them sell their stuff. And yeah, that's what we do. Absolutely. You know, when it comes to content, the first and foremost thing that all business owners would benefit from understanding when it comes to social media content is your social media content, you would benefit the most if it speaks to you, your actual, what you're selling, right? So like I mentioned my self-care planner and my energy optimization planner, just about in every single blurb um, that I write on all of my social media content, right? Because that's how people are really going to get to know me and get on my email list. So I can really start developing relationships with them, right? So when it comes to creating social media as a copywriter, what do you really lean into when it comes to making social media content? Because I'm sure your email is beautiful. So I'm, I'm the thing that I like to focus on most is because I do primarily top of funnel content, which is um, like the attraction side of things. So I help get people into your funnel by being super visible online. Um, so things that, that I like to focus on are things like your hooks and keeping people's attention and like opening sort of those like curiosity loops where people want to keep watching so that they find out what happens. Um, and that's like something that I've been experimenting a lot more with, um, with my trend explaining content. Like I'm, I, I kind of stumbled across that one by accident, but it's been a massive source of, uh, followers for me. Um, just helping people understand the internet and social media and how it works and why things blow up the way that they do because social media is just so crazy for that and I think a lot of business owners don't know how to leverage that type of content for themselves yeah just it's something that makes sense to me but I I, I like to experiment with you know my opening lines um, things like your call to actions really like mixing up the middle of your videos to make sure that people keep watching throughout and it yeah it's just really I, I like I love it it's so it's fantastic I love that 